Hi, this is Bernard Sata Collins, original Abyssinian. A very special good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to big stone television as you know the series continues where we pay our ultimate respect to the greats of greats of reggae music those who have gone on before us and have gone too soon and those who are still here with us today today we're going to be featuring one of the most revered and respected group they're called the Abyssinians. The most revered and respected of Jamaica's roots vocal groups whose transcendental, ever real, harmonies are beautiful beyond compare. Their debut single, Satama Sagana, from 1969, is one of the most virgin songs and rhythms in the history of reggae music and is now a Rastafarian hymn. The Abyssinians, Daniel Mannings, Linford Mannings, and Bernard Collins were formed in 1968, although Daniel and Linford had previously sung with their brother Carlton in the legendary vocal trio Carlton and the Shoes. Their initial recording as the Abyssinian was in March 1969. The almighty Satamasagana, which means give thanks in Hamaric, partly sung in Hamaric and partly adapted from Happy Land, the B-side of Carlton and his shoes massive hit, Rhythm, Love Me Forever. The record was self-production fashion at Clement Cox and Dodd studio on Brentford Road with Leroy Sibley's on bass, Philberta Phil Calender on drums, Eric Freiter on lead guitar, Richard Ace on piano, Robbie Lane on keyboards, Vane Dandy Jr. Gargan on trombone and Felix Deadly Headley Bennett on saxophone. Carlton Manage had comprehensively coached the group in harmony techniques and Sata Masagana was one of his first instances of the Rastafarian influence on reggae music. These themes would later become commonplace but were practically and unheard at the time and Satama Sagana would prove to be an indelible influence, lyrically, rhythmically, and spiritually. On the music of the coming decades, initial white label pressings were back with Jerusalem, while later copies came back by Thunderstorm, a Nyabingi driven version of Sata, released on the group's own clinch label. That same year, the Apostinians recorded Declaration of rights for coxon but this superb song get up and fight for your rights my brother get up and fight for your rights my sister was also completely out of step with the current reggae mainstream coxon was at the forefront of recording militant conscious tunes and was also working with winston rodney the burning spear at the same time but the time was not right for declaration of rights either Coxon originally released his song on various artists' compilation, Solid Gold, in 1971. Although the tune later appeared on a 7-inch single backed by a virgin on the Coxon label. 
The music of the Abyssinian might have been timeless, but it took two years for Sata to register with the record buying public after the group hustled copies of the record around the Kingston sound system until the tune took off in a big way. And it was eventually voted number two greatest hits of 1971 in Swing Magazine. Producer Joe Gibbs was the first to version the Satamasa Ghana rhythm for dub serial, one of the first ever dub LPs. Then, with a spoken version from Peter Tosh, Here Comes the Judge, backed by Winston Wright's instrumental revolution, and a further instrumental cut. Aso credited to the destroyers. Studio aggregation that included Arn's heroes Tommy McCook and Bobby Ellis. The Abyssinian answered back with a spoken version of Sata and Clinch entitled Marbrak, where the trio quoted passages from the Bible, admonish Joe Gibbs and also, although Bernard Callis later recalled, but it wasn't until Joe Gibbs bring out this version and everybody start going at this song. Based at the record shack at Crossroad, the crew continue to record a series of classic tunes for Clinch, including Let My Days Be Long, Lego Beast, aka Licking Stick, Paul Jason White, and Sata Minobania, where Bernard adapted Declaration of Rights to the Sata rhythm. Every single release on the label was perfect, the epitome of roots rock reggae, songs of hope and faith that inspired, educated and uplifted the spirit. Big U DJ Sata, As I Pray Thee in summer 1973 and his version proved so popular that it was released not only on Clinch but also on Dana, Dims and Easter Lion and Big U's own Augustus. The group could never be accused for over recording although they also work occasionally for other producers where they always gave the very best and classic sides including Yim Masgan for Lloyd Matador Daily Recent Time released on Federal Roots Subsidiary and Tennis Stilling Wilma for Clive Azul Hunt at Soul Tracks The group then began work on an album for the song Tracks label run by Pat Cooper. You had guys like Clive Hunt, Jeffrey Chung, Mikey Chung, all of the top notch musicians working with the company. Tennessee Stillin Wadima was inexplicably omitted from the group's debut long player, Satamasagana, when it was released on Penetrate in 1976. Although the album included updates of Sata. Declaration of Rice and Yimmas Gun, plus seven other tracks of equal brilliance, including the sublime Abendigo and Forward on Zion. The album was pirated in the UK on a white label, pressing which unfortunately lessened its impact, but it was through this illegal release that the group finally came to the attention of the mainstream reggae record buyers. The album was eventually officially released in the UK in 1977 as Forward Unto Zion and Click then on Forward the following year and the faultless set has subsequently appeared in a number of different imprints included Azul in the USA and the group owned Clinch label in Jamaica. After appearing in Jeremy Marr's wonderful Roots Rock reggae documentary Performing a heartbreaking acoustic version of Sata, the group was signed by Virgin Frontline label in London. A number of tracks on the resulting Frontline album, Arise, released in 1978, were produced by Bernard Collins, while the remainder were produced by Daniel and Linford, and the set included updates of Licking Sticks and Let My Days Be Long, a beautiful adaption and, an, and adaptation of Nature Boy entitled Ja Loves and the Movement. This land is for everyone. The group separated in the early 80s, the music once again out of step with the times. Although Donald and Donald Abyssinian released the sublime peculiar number and Donna Dims and Bernard's continued to re-release records on the Clinch label in Jamaica. 
Bernard visit the UK in the late 80s and delve deeper into the archives and release further cuts of Sutter, including Mandela from Tommy McCook, Richard Ace Organ Cut, Charming Version and UK Clinch. The trio together again in 1989 and recording the enigmatic 19.95 plus tax album as the original Abyssinian which was re-released three years later with a slightly altered track listed as Reunion and Artist Only. In 2004, Steve Barrow of Blood and Fire commissioned the marvelous Tree of Sata release, an entire CD of Sata, a version that mix and match established cuts of the rhythm with brand new interpretation from veterans such as Ernest Ranglin and U Roy alongside current hit maker Luciana and Lammy Bolo. Linford had left the group for good in 1990 and he would sing but in the church for Jesus Christ. And so in 2004 David Morrison joined Bernard and Dalla in the Abyssinian. Over the last 10 years the group have toured Europe and the USA mesmerizing audience with their heavenly harmonies and moralizing messages. Their appearances not only thrilling long-time aficionados, but also winning over new audience whenever and wherever they play. Always the connoisseur group of choice, they have never ceased to make spiritually charged music, both on record and on stage, and their live performances are a formation of the last beauty of their music. Making no concession to fads or fashion, their position as elder statesmen is unassailable and their music has been pivotal to the continuing relevance of roots reggae. What a powerful group it was when it first started out. We're talking about a spiritual group that gave us one of the biggest, the most revered song, Sata Masakana. Jamaica, it is an honor for us to have a group of musicians who up until this day their songs are sorted all around the world. Today, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to pay the ultimate respect to the Abyssinians, a group that came, they saw, and they conquered. The Abyssinian is a beautiful Rastafarian group that we all must be proud of. We are so thankful for the founding members. We are so thankful for those who came and delivered Bernard Collins, Linford Mannings, Daniel Mannings, and for all those who became a part of this so powerful group. We thank you for a job well done. The Abyssinians, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Abyssinians, please like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time for you to do so. Thank you.